Man, I must be the unluckiest guy alive. I could have swore I just beat you, but then somehow now you didn't lose to me. You beat me instead. And I, I couldn't draw the right card to save my life. Get out of here, Joey. You win! Congratulations on making the semifinals. The semifinals will take place next Saturday. Your opponent will be Yugi Moto. Make sure you and your shitty deck are ready. See you next week. Oh boy, I have. I have got to get a better deck. Alright, so. We had to go back, beat Joy Wheeler finally, he beat us last time. I went and opened a whole butt-ton of packs. I got a whole bunch of different cards, a lot of them which I'm not using yet. I got a lot of cool cards like Magician of Dark Chaos, I got some pieces of Exodia, stuff like that. Uh, Yadagratsu, all these cool cards which I want to use, but I'm probably not going to be able to use for a while. Instead, what I did was I kind of beefed up my warrior deck, I made a new warrior deck. Um, Let's go ahead and get into that right now. Attention everyone, the KC Cup semifinals are about to begin, both Duel Center! Actually, I wonder if it's going to be Little Yugi or Yami Yugi. No, it's regular Yugi. If I defeat you, I'll meet him in the finals. That's why I can't lose to you. So we're going to go ahead here and um, see if we're going to go first or last. We are going to go first. So I got a lot of cool cards I really want to use. I changed up the deck a little bit. It's a little bit more simpler. Um, I before I kind of restricted myself to only like female warriors, now it's just kind of warrior cards and shit. And uh, some of the cards that I really wanted to use. But, um, I hate this game. <laughs> like, so much. Like, I've been talking about how, like, I hate how the uh, field looks. It looks really bland and boring. But then also, finding cards is extremely difficult. Uh, they, obviously, this is a really early Yu Gi Oh! game, and later on, they fix it. Uh, I don't know why, though. It was easier for me to find the cards that I need in Eternal Duel Soul than it is in this game. It's just really hard and really cumbersome to find cards, put them in a deck, use them. It was just It's just really difficult in this game. I don't understand why. Uh, he's actually got the Black Pendant boosting his Sangin over it by a little bit. Um, so let's actually... Do you have anything I can put in defense mode that can just get bopped? Because um, I kind of want to throw out... Let, let's pass. Because I want him to summon another monster then go into feed Mega Cyber and smack him pretty good. There we go, Mahaval, not too bad. Thankfully, he didn't put the Black Panther on that. But yeah, it's just really difficult to find the cards that I want. Like, let's say, you know how they have the uh, rotating panelists, which, you know, it's kind of cool in concept, but then every time a week passes and they change the cards, I have to go look at the ban list, look at the cards that are banned, look through my deck to take them out, and then look through all the billions of cards that they have in order to swap it out. Because there's no easy way for me to, like, for example, look at cards that are forbidden and swap them in or anything like that. There's just not really any good options like that. I could just look at, you know, face value sorting, like look at all spells, look at all, you know, uh, trap cards, monster cards, level fours, stuff like that, right? And there's not really any other sort of easy way for me to look through cards, which is really obnoxious. So when stuff like that happens, I have to just kind of like try to remember any of the good cards that I have and then try and put them in the deck, you know? Um, so that, that's really difficult. The second part of it is actually getting cards is really obnoxious, which this is kind of like just Yu-Gi-Oh! in general because they have the whole gacha mechanic where you have to go buy cards from the shop and it's whatever you get. You know, that's kind of whatever. But it's just the fact that that takes a really long time. <laughs> but that's on a side point, you know, that's an issue with any Yu-Gi-Oh! game that you're going to play ever, right? Even to this current day with Duel Links. You know, that's an issue where it's just like, oh, well, I have to, I want to play this deck, but I have to spend $50 to get five gems to open a pack that gives me three cards. I know all those numbers are wrong, but I'm exaggerating here. And he's actually going to activate the Dark Hole, too. By golly. But on top of, you know, all these other issues I have in this game, it doesn't even work properly. As you saw last time, Allied Forces, for whatever reason, glitches and boosts my opponent's warriors as well. So it's basically some sort of weird, funky, um, let's actually use Dimensional Warrior in Defense mode here. Some sort of weird, funky field spell. Then Ultimate Warrior, um, Ultimate Warrior, wrong. Ultimate Offering only works on main phases, so it's kind of pointless. I mean, you can still kind of use it, still have to a decent enough effect, but you know, it only works on main phases, which is supposed to work in the battle phase, also, which is what makes what makes the card so good. And then another thing that happened was I had Prince's 
Tsuguri or whatever the hell her name is. And that card, basically what she does is that she lets you... Um, she's a flip effect. When she flips up, she deals damage to your opponent at times 500 per each stone trap card they have on the field. In this stupid ass game, instead, it inflicts it to you. Why the hell would I set a card that inflicts 500 points of damage per card to me? Well, why would I do that? Why would I go out of my way to set a goddamn card just to have it do that effect? That doesn't make any, any sense to me. So, that really pissed me the hell off when I found that out. I was just like, oh my god, this game is just completely broken and stupid. It's just, there's just no, there's no going about it. It's just broken and stupid. So, speaking of broken and stupid, what I want to do is I want to just get through this stuff. I'm probably going to just, uh, uh I don't know how to say it. I'll probably just go through the next tournament, like, off screen or something like that, because I don't think it's really going to be anything of no. I think it's just going to be facing the same people, you know, and it's going to be a little bit shorter, because I think it's like a national tournament or something like that. So I might not even do it all on screen. But after we do that national tournament, what happens is that you unlock a secret area where uh, there's like, you know, a lot stronger duelist. Uh, you can see Metal, uh, Metal Gear. You can see Snake from Metal Gear there. Um, and they also don't have a ban list. Not only do they not have a forbidden or limited list, right? But you can literally use three of any fucking card you want in your deck. Which is, today, I think the only Yu-Gi-Oh game that lets you do something like that. Um, without you, like, cheating or anything. So that's really cool. So I want to do that and, like, do a bunch of, like, the crazy nonsense that you can do. Like, just run a f deck full of fucking... Through copies of each piece of Exodia, right? Stuff like that. Through copies of Pot of Greed, you know? I want to do something crazy like that. And then the opponents there also do the same crazy shenanigans. So, I want to make it at least up until we can do that. Have some fun with those crazy shenanigans. And then never, ever, ever, ever play this game ever again. Because <laughs> that is just so stupid. That... I already didn't like some of the mechanics in the game, right? And I was having a good time... In the beginning when I started playing this, because like I was uh, doing this thing where I would just open packs and try and make a deck out of that, you know. Uh, in essence, almost making it like a Nuzlocke kind of thing. Not in sense of like Pokemon dying, but in sense of like you just kind of use what you get. Right. So I was having a whole mess of fun with that. And then all the cards just happened to not work. And there's a bunch of other cards that just happened to not work. And like this isn't new. There are, oh my god, he's just going to go straight to Black Luster Soldier. Um, there are a bunch of other cards in the game that just don't work, too. So, I, I don't know. I'm just really annoyed at that. I, I want to add Black Ops Switch into this deck, because he is obviously the strongest warrior monster. But I, um... Let's, um... Hmm. Um, I haven't had a gruesome knight, but let me... I want to do it, but I'm afraid this is like a trap hole. Uh, but it's probably just a uh, magic jammer. So let's go ahead and use this here. Hopefully this resolves. What am I talking about? It's not even going to be enough. This is stupid. Okay. Yeah, it is just a magic jammer. I wanted to actually use uh, Karate Man, but I've, now I've gone ahead and I've wasted my Hayabusa Knight. He's just going to get bonked by Black Lester Soldier here. But thankfully, he doesn't really have a lot of cards in hand. So next turn, I can go ahead and summon... Fiend Mega Cyber, special summon Fiend Mega Cyber actually. And we take down this guy and then probably walk into a Penguin Knight afterwards. Ooh. I actually added in Ring of Destruction. I'm playing like no traps in this deck. Uh, it's just Ring of Destruction, I think, widespread ruin of the only traps I'm playing, and then a bunch of spells and monsters. Um, so let's go ahead and throw this out here. Could use the Ring of Destruction maybe next turn, but I need to. Do a lot more damage in order to make it effective. So we're actually going to get three down in attack. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. So I might just use Ring of Destruction next turn to take out the. Oof, gonna hit, get hit with the manner bug. Okay, definitely gonna use that next turn. I could have crashed into them, but I was hoping to stick my to keep around my feet Mega Cyber with three thousand attack. Uh, I'm actually gonna use a premature burial here to bring back the man eater bug. Uh, whoops, I don't want to use anything. You can bring that back. I don't know if he's going to attribute it. Nope. 
He's just gonna use it to attack. So let's go ahead and, yep, this game is also stupid in that you can't activate traps during battle or anything like that, except for like certain traps. You can kind of just only activate traps when the game lets you. It's just really, really stupid. So we're gonna go ahead and activate this. Maybe it's because I have to go and mess around with the timing, but I obviously don't want to do that. We're gonna take a big hit to the face, uh, but that's gonna be okay. Let's throw out the, uh, yeah, throw out the Goblin Attack Force. Do some more damage here. He only has one card in hand, so presumably it's nothing too threatening since he has to waste a premature burial here to get back a man eater bug or like a clown. So there's a good chance that maybe he has like a dark magician or something like that that he can't summon in his hand. Hopefully he just passes. Yep, he's gonna set and pass, which is fine. So we're gonna draw. Oof. One of the cards that I managed to pull here, we're going to activate Reinforcements of the Army here to literally add just about any card from our deck to our hand. This, I think, is only when you've got a Quip, right? Uh, nope, okay. I thought he needs to be equipped or something. I know you ideally you want to equip him to something, but it doesn't need to be the case. So we're going to throw out Mataza the Zapper here. Who's going to get him with the Trap Bowl? That's unfortunate. Should have seen that coming. Should have probably thrown out Karate Man. Hopefully he still doesn't get anything. Oh, he is going to get the Maharalo. Which is less unfortunate. He's going to take out the Goblin Attack Force. We do have the Karate Man, which we can use here. Oof, but we do have the Goblin Attack Force, which is actually better. Because at least he stays on the field. Karate Man, I have to use his effect to double his attack, making him 2,000. So he can go over Maharalo that way. But then he destroys himself at the end of the field. Whereas... Goblin Attack Force just puts himself in defense mode here. So, not ideal, but at least we do get a monster for next turn to block if he does summon something, which he gets nothing. So we can actually just draw here and throw out this Karate Man here. Use his effect to get 2,000 attack, and then just straight hit him in the face with it. And beat Yugi. I don't know if this is the second time, right? This isn't the first time we've beaten him. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got so lost in my rant that I wasn't even sure. I lost Pharaoh. I I'm sorry I let you down. Alright, well, sucks to be you, Yugi. You win! Congratulations on making it to the finals. The finals will take place next Saturday. Be prepared, for we have a special mystery opponent who's dying to take you on. Make sure you and your deck are ready. See you next week. I'll see you guys next week also. Take care of yourself.